Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to make my own original design. This is called the No Move Infinity. And I know there is already an infinity out there, but this is a little different. As you can see, it has this rim on the side of it with it, and then it's got the single chain here, single chain there. And the reason it's called No Move is because on the original one, I was kind of disappointed when it came out. Because my infinity would always get twisted and it wouldn't come out right and would never stay in the infinity. And this, you can do anything with it. As you can see, I'm stretching it really hard. And it always stays in its infinity sign. And that is what I really, really love about this. This was um, inspired by my infinity crossover bracelet which was very similar, but the band placing is literally the same. But I just didn't make it so frilly and everything. So now that I'm done talking, we will get our supplies. So the bands that I'm going to be using are the clear jellies from Rainbow Loom. I'm going to be using DIY bubble bands. And I will be using glow in the dark white, also from Rainbow Loom. And my infinity signs are going to be these bubble bands. This is going to be my yellow, jelly yellow, and this one. And then you see on the side right there is going to be my white. So you will also need your hook, your loom, set up in the stacker configuration, and whatever clip you have. So let's start placing the bands. Okay, and I know the screen seems really bright and my hands are really shining. That's because I'm trying out a new effect, so it might be a little bit easier to see, especially when I'm using these clear jellies. Um, if you like how I'm doing this edit right here, please comment below. If you don't, tell me so I know what to do. So I'm going to start out with my clear jelly, which I said before will be the yellow jelly in this one. And I'm going to extend it to the right and go straight up on my loom. Once again, using single bands. So I'm just going to continue until I reach the end of my loop. When you reach that second to last peg, you're just going to go in to that last center peg. We are now going to start from the beginning of our loom, and we're going to take another one of our perimeter and just go out to the left and continue going up the loom in a single chain. Make sure your bands are pushed down because we need to add two more layers. I will continue until I reach the end of my loom. On the second and last one, you are going to go in just like that. We are now going to start placing the infinity signs. So we're going to start on these two pegs. We are going to take our rubber band, twist it to an infinity sign, configure eight, and place it on just like that if the camera will focus. There we go. Now we're going to place the next one, twist into a figure eight, to infinity sign, like that. And we're just going to continue to do this to the almost end of our limb because we were going to now I'm going to do the last couple rows. Ah, wrong color. Orange. Yellow. And on this one, as you can tell, I'm using a regular effect, so just tell me which ones you like better. So you're going to stop. You're not going to place on these two pegs here. So we're not going to do these last two because I kind of did an example. It just ends up like this, and you don't want that on your thing. So that's how that one goes. <laughs> and now we're going to need to place the little single chain this way. So this is when our white comes in, or whatever color you're using, and you're just going to place it directly above your other perimeter bands. Just go straight up. Just 
just directly over the bands. Make sure you don't get it tangled up with your infinity signs. Your figure eight and keep it nice so that it's it should be like that. Starting from the beginning again, extending out. I'm gonna wanna push this down a little bit. Extending out to the left this time and going straight up. Sorry for my hand getting in the way. It's kind of hard because my loom is just kind of sliding everywhere. So. And almost done. Second to last one goes in. Now we're gonna turn our loom so that the arrows are pointing towards us or that the pegs are open if you don't have that. You're gonna place a single band as a triangle and you're going to twist it into a figure eight so it should look just like this. Now it's time to start the looping process. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for this part. As you can see, we're just going to place, or pull this top band to right over here. The other top band right to there. Now we're going to go down one time with these bands. Now we're gonna go back into this cap band and take out the other two. Now you're going to go in and grab the white perimeter band or whatever color you're using. I'm gonna say white so it might be a little bit easier to judge. And you're gonna do it just like that. You're going to go in, grab the clear rubber band from the second right and left. Now you go in, grab the top band, which is white, and loop those two on each side. Then you go in through the infinity sign, because now that we have reached the infinities, pull it back and grab the bottom band. And you always want to make sure that you are one ahead on this. As you can see, I have both of the bands on here. You want to make sure that you're always one ahead. So when you go to loop this band, then you can go in through the infinity sign and grab this one. So you always want to make sure that you are one ahead. That is a very crucial part to this entire design. So I'm going to keep the camera zoomed in just so that it will hopefully be a little bit easier to see everything. Because it, this part is a little complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's super simple. So make sure that you don't, the one you just looped, you want to make sure you go through one behind it because you don't want to get confused and loop the other one. So as you can see, I'm one head. Because when you go in to grab this band right here, you don't want to go in and grab this one. You want to go behind one, grab it. That's, you gotta be very careful about that. If you want, you can just go and loop the whole perimeter and then go back and loop those. I just do it one at a time because to me, then it doesn't take as long. And I am going slower because I tend to go pretty fast. I'm trying to go a little bit slower so this tutorial will be easier to follow. If I am going too fast, please tell me in the comment section if I'm, if, I'm going to use love for you if you figured out this process already. Just fast forward and I will catch up eventually. <laughs> Sometimes it's confusing because you want to go through and you can't. <laughs> ah. Make sure you do the white band first that you're one ahead. And this one forward. Sorry if my voice is a little scratchy. I have some allergies right now. So. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, since we are so close to the ending, I'm just gonna go ahead and loop in the bands.
and go back and start to loop the clear bands. Make sure you do the right side first because that was the way that we placed the bands. My band slipped off, but that's okay. Put it back on. And our last one goes into the center. You are now going to take your clear rubber band or whatever color you use. They keep popping off, so if you want to, you can just push this down. We're going to finish this. So let's see what I can do with this at an angle, so I'm gonna have to move this over. Just gonna stick your hook through the channel. Take the rubber band, make sure you went through all of the rubber bands. You can check by the side, because you'll see it holds all of them. Now we're just gonna pull this off of our loom. I'm going to take it off a of camera because I don't want it to hit anything. So I almost, and I've pulled this off of the loom and I love how it turned out using my bubble bands and so you should have the brim and oh it looks really cute as you see I did the rim for the white and I did the clear so that the bubble bands would kind of show through and now we need to create an extension so I'm going to take I'm going to do an extension on my loom if you know how to do it manually you can do that so I'm just going to go one Two, three, four, five. I'm going to turn my loom sideways so you can kind of see. The two rubber bands that are on your hook, you're going to take them and place it. You could place it like a cap band. I'm going to extend it out to another peg. So it's basically a cap band that's stretched. So then you're going to go in through that and start to loop. And I am looping sideways. And it is not the easiest thing in the world to do. But and you're going to do this one. Now, to make it easier, you're going to take these two rubber bands and extend them out to where they reach that peg. And you are going to take your clip and clip it on to those pegs. And you can take it off of your limb. And you can find your cap band and it should be pretty simple because we used our rim one, so that's easier to find. Stretch it out with your two fingers and place it on like that. So I've got my loom out of the way. So, and there is your infinity. No move. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing more of this. Don't forget to subscribe and find me on Instagram at tutorials number four, limbs, so tutorials for limbs. You can also find me on Facebook. And if you made your own, I would love to see it. So just go to Instagram and hashtag it to tutorials for limbs. And don't forget to tag me in the photo or in the comment section. Thanks for watching.